Hi, storytime lovers. What do you do if you're a dinosaur and you get a boo boo? Call a doctor source, of course. If you've never been to a doctor source before, then I have found the perfect book for you. This doctor source fixes any scratch or graze in a jiffy and always with a smile. Dr. Soros is the debut picture book of British author Emmy Lou May, who previously worked in film and radio, but has always loved storytelling in any form. And it is published by Little Tiger Press. Actually, you should know that the hardback version has been so successful that it has already sold out. So, Little Tiger Press are releasing the paperback version on January 6th. And if you don't have a copy, you are sure to love this one, as it has a lovely foil front cover, which makes it super shiny and fun. Of course, I have posted the links in the description box below. And before I take you in my time machine to visit the dinosaur era, I want to ask you, how well do you know your dinos? Are you ready for a quick dino test? Let's go. Is this A, a Triceratops or B? A Diplodocus. It's a Triceratops. Do you know why it is called a Triceratops? Well, tri means three, like in a triangle or a tricycle. And a Triceratops has three horns. Can you see them? Two on its head and one on its nose. Is this A, an Allosaurus or B, a Pterodactyl? It's B. Pterodactyl. To be fair, a pterodactyl is not actually a dinosaur, but rather a flying reptile. Let's say a relative of the dinosaur. Pterodactyls are the largest flying animals that ever lived. Is this A a stegosaurus or B a velociraptor? It's A a stegosaurus. The stegosaurus may look impressive, but did you know that its brain was the size of a walnut? The stegosaurus is also known for its plates. No, not the ones you eat in, but the 20 or so protective plates on its back. Is this A a Diplodocus or B a T-Rex? It's B a T-Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is usually considered as the king of the dinos. It was one of the biggest meat eaters and the scariest. Even more terrifying was its mouth full of 20 centimeter teeth. Is this A a Velociraptor or B a Brontosaurus? It's B Brontosaurus. The Brontosaurus is a lot less scary than the T-Rex because it was a herbivore, which means it ate plants. Okay, now that we've brushed up on our dinos, I think we're ready to meet Dr. Saurus. A hundred million years ago, plus three months and a day, some dino pals met up to have a picnic and a play. Triceratops roared, can't catch me, but didn't see the tree. Then with a bash, he crashed head first and broke his horn in three. There, there, said Pterodactyl. I can see your horn's gone squiffy. Let's call for Dr. Saurus and she'll fix you in a jiffy. An ambulance came racing up. It skidded to a stop and out stepped Dr. Saurus in her crisp white doctor's top. Broken horns are painful, said the doc, but no disaster. I'll patch it back together with some extra sticky plaster. Then Stegosaurus sniffled. There's a splinter in my pinky. It's gone all green and gooey and is really rather stinky. So Dr. Saurus fetched for some giant tweezers from her kit. She pinched the pesky splinter and removed it in one bit. Wow, said the doc. This splinter is the biggest that I've seen. Your pinky will get better now. Just keep it nice and clean. Next, Snotty T-Rex plodded up. My nose is blocked, he said. I'm sneezing and I'm sniffling 
and I've got a thumping head. So Dr. Saurus sat him down and said, Please open wide. She lit her special doctor's torch and shunned the light inside. It's allergies, declared the doc. I bet your eyes feel sore, but try these pills. They're perfect for a poorly dinosaur. And here's some mammoth hankies, but there's one thing you should know. It would be wise to warn us all when you're about to blow. Last of all was Brontosaurus. Help, what should I do? My tummy's big and bloated and I just can't do a poo. Eat these juicy prunes, said Doc. They'll help unblock your tum. You'll soon feel so much better and they're really rather yum. Three cheers for Dr. Saurus, Pterodactyl whooped. Hooray! Let's celebrate and scoff our yummy picnic right away. The dinos munched volcano pies and sweet Jurassic jelly. They finished off with swamp ice cream. So tasty, but so smelly. Then Dr. Saurus heard a very rumbly, grumbly sound. It shook the trees from top to toe and shuddered through the ground. Emergency! The doctor cried and waved the ice cream scoop. Take over! Brontosaurus is about to do a poop! The dinos gasped, oh no, look out, and ran away to hide, while Bronte's stomach growled and gurgled somewhere deep inside. The prunes had worked and pop! His tummy came and blocked at last in one enormous, pongy, poopy, prehistoric blast. Oh, that feels much better, Brontosaurus grinned and sighed. Then let's all bop and boogie woogie, Pterodactyl cried. The dinos danced the conga in a joyful jamboree and invited 50 dung beetles to have the poop for tea. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. And you know I don't like to let you go without making sure that you have been a good listener. How many dinosaurs can you name from the story? Press pause to have a think. There's Triceratops, T-Rex, Stegosaurus, Brontosaurus and Pterodactyl. And now you can get your own copy to read or get it as a gift for a friend by heading to your local bookshop or by clicking on the link in the description box below. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and following me on Instagram. Take care, read on and see you soon.